Today I'm going to share with you three recipes for healthy condiments that you usually buy from the store. So why should you make your own condiments? The store-bought ones are usually filled with sugar, heavy on oil and lots of preservatives and chemicals. So it's always best to make your own at home and I'll show you how easy it is to do that. So our first recipe is for your mayonnaise. Very simple, you just need some soaked cashews. So I'm just going to put that in the blender. So this is half a cup of soaked cashews. Then you need some chopped onion. This is about two tablespoons of chopped onion and one clove of garlic. If you don't like raw uh, onions and garlic, you can skip this or you can use powdered uh, onion and garlic. For spices here I'm taking some salt, mustard seed powder and some black pepper powder. And here I have some lemon juice, one tablespoon of lemon juice. All we do is now blend all of this together. Our mayonnaise is now ready, was well, that simple to do? Here you can see, got a nice thick mayonnaise, okay, so now you can store this. And it will last you for a good 10 days. There you go, the mayonnaise is ready. For our next recipe, we'll be making tomato ketchup. It's really easy to make at home and so much more healthier. So here I have um, about three medium-sized tomatoes which have been roasted. They have been roasted at 180 for about 20 minutes till they're nice and cooked. Along with that, I'll be using one tablespoon of soaked raisins. I'm just gonna add that into my blender. Along with that, I'll be using some spices. I'm just using some salt and red chili powder. You can of course add any spices of your choice. And to give it a big of, bit of a tang, we'll be using some apple cider vinegar. All we do is blend all of this together. Tomato ketchup is ready, that's how easy it was, really instant. And it's got a lovely colour. You can see how lovely the colour is. Yeah, tomato ketchup is ready. You can store this again for a good uh, five to six days in your refrigerator. So let's pour this out. The tomato ketchup is also ready. Last recipe that I'm going to be showing you is a mustard sauce. It's really simple to make. All you need is mustard seeds or a simple rye. This is one fourth of a cup of rye. And here I have some spices. I have two cloves of garlic, some uh, salt, half a teaspoon of salt. Um, one eight teaspoon of cinnamon and one eight teaspoon of turmeric. And to this, I'm adding some apple cider vinegar. This is about one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. 
Now all we do is just blend all of this together. Next we add some water. This is about one cup of water. I'm just adding half a cup first and then we'll add the rest later. All we do is just blend this together. So you can see our sauce is almost ready. We'll add a little bit more water and give this a blend. If you'd like, you can add half, um, half the quantity of yellow mustard seeds and half black. Today I'm just using all black. I'm adding about one fourth cup water more. And we'll give this a blend. So our mustard sauce is now ready. You can see how lovely it looks. Again, you can store this for a long period of time, about 10 to 12 days in your refrigerator. So let's serve this. And there we go, our mustard sauce is ready. You can see all of our condiments are ready. They were so easy to make. I hope you try them. They're really superb. And here I'm serving them with some baked french fries. Enjoy.